Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the V-Spot. I'm stopping in quickly to have a conversation with you about your life being a labor of love, a work of love. And when you consider that love is a verb, right, it's rooted in action, I want you to think about your life and where and where you're not showing and demonstrating love for yourself. Right. So if you zoom out and take a bird's eye perspective of your life, it consists of various sections. Right. So there's your relationships, your intimate relationships, your family, your friendships. Then you have your career and your work. Right. And your finances and your wellness. So. If you look at each of these areas of your life and you consider that it is a work of love, is there anything that stands out, an area where you are not demonstrating love, right? I think the combination is going to be different for everybody. For some of you, you may look and say, wow, in all areas of my life, I noticed that love is present and visible and happening and being poured into on a regular basis. For some of you, you may notice that, oh, wow, over here, lots of love. Over here, not so much, right? And for some, you may notice, mm, I'm not quite seeing it in any of the places. It's sort of just, I'm coasting. Um, so there's an opportunity to look at the totality of your life and recognize that your life is a labor of love. And in some areas, the love may be evident and abundant. And in some areas, it may be scarce and, um, you know, a little tight and frugal. And so there's an opportunity for us to check in and not only observe what's going on, but then take it the next step to put the work in, right? This is the work that I say is the greatest work of all. Put the work in to have it be different, to get your whole life in balance where you're able to, again, zoom out and look and see the common thread of love and the um, fulfillment running through, you, you know, all areas. So um, we just celebrated Labor Day here in the States, and Labor Day is an honoring and a celebration of the labor movement in the United States, and it recognizes our individual um, contributions and efforts to the prosperity of our country. And it inspired me to think about the labor that we put into our own life. And so um, I was really looking at my own areas and recognizing mm, there's some work that's needed here, you know, and I was inspired to create what I'm calling labor of love. And it is a 90 minute exclusive complimentary masterclass that will dive into this very topic in depth. And so I didn't want to host it on Labor Day because I know many of you are out there barbecuing and traveling and doing your thing. So I decided to host it on Monday, September 8th, 18th from 7.30 p.m. Eastern to 9 p.m. Eastern. And so we will be gathering in a Zoom room near you so you could pull up in your pajamas and chill. And um, we will be looking at this aspect of labor of love. And so for some of you, we may talk about the work that you do for a living. For some of you, we may not, right? It's really an opportunity to look at your life as a whole in terms of love and get clear on the work that's needed to take you from good to great or from great to extraordinary, right? To really rev up the fulfillment factor to have you experience your life across the board with a level of satisfaction, appreciation, gratitude, excitement, right? Um, and so the work that is needed to bring you from here to where you're looking to go, that's the work we're gonna be getting clear on, right? Because for many people, myself included at times when I sat to have this sort of, let me bridge the gap, I was like, I don't know where to start. And so labor of love is my way of helping you and guiding and really pouring into what is needed, 
so that it doesn't have to be this nice idea that exists over there that we get to really embody it now. Um, so I believe this is the work that's the most important work to do. You know, yes, you potentially have your nine to five or your career or your business or whatever it is that you do. Um, and that work is on a regular basis, but we also get to do work on us on a regular basis that will have us experience ourselves and our lives in an entirely different way, right? And this is work that nobody else can come and do for us. This is work that if we choose not to do, it doesn't get done, <clears throat> excuse me. And so everything remains like a nice idea if we're not fully connected to what's needed to bridge the gap. So that's what this event is about. Monday, September 18th, um, 7.30 p.m. If you go to Intentional Healing and Wellness on um, Instagram or on Facebook, you will see the link. You can also go to Eventbrite and type in Labor of Love, and you will see the complimentary tickets there. So it's my hope that you tune in because we want to get together in the name of your life, your life's work, and ensure that it's getting done right? There's, there's no dress rehearsal here. This is the one and done, you know, YOLO, right? And so if you get it right, once is enough. And so let's get together and get super clear on the work that's needed. That's really the essence of you, right? That's really the essence of your journey and your life's work. Um, and we are going to do it together in a Zoom room from the comfort of your home on Monday, the 18th, 7.30 p.m. Eastern, you are cordially invited. Tickets are limited, so go get your ticket before they are gone. But we are gathering in the name of the most important work of all, your life's work. And um, I hope to see you at Labor of Love. I can't wait to help you and to uh, share with you some strategies and some clarifying techniques to help you get to where you're looking to go. So um, I will see you there. And until we meet again, Thank you for being with me in this episode of The V-Spot to be continued.